Greetings, people of Earth. This is Dr. Verloc, and I have a very special request of all of you, my friends. Tonight we're talking about Humanity Triumphant and BCI Prospects for Psionics. Before I make my request, allow me to draw a picture upon your mind's eye. Sit back, relax, close your eyes, and listen. Drifting back into your body, into your med bed, you turn for one final glance from a pivotal eye orbiting the earth, and you behold the earth in all its blue and green, lush generosity, and the rays of the glorious sun sheathe this pearl, this gem in our solar system, in golden cosmic dust. Awakening in your illuminated sleep chamber, you share a thought with all of your fellow humans on this side of the dreamland. We are awake now. And so you venture forth to play in your garden, as do your companions, your pets, your families. Your robots tend to the trimming of the shrubbery. A neighbor greets you with a universal gesture, nodding her head softly, and your eyes turn to watch a purple leaf drop from an elder tree, slowly, as if gravity has been reversed, does this leaf drift down to float upon the surface of a watery mirror in your garden pond. And this reminds you of images of the sea. And so you go and seat yourself in your lawn chair and close your eyes looking deeper. Instantly your mind is brought back to where you last visited the deepest of the world's oceans. And you see schools of dolphins swimming and a great whale displacing the vast darkness of the ocean with its call that is answered by echoing music from whales across the terrains under the sea. All of this is happening for you in real time. And now you open your eyes renewed and refreshed. The world is magical in your mind and all possibilities are open to you to experience. With new perceptions awakening every day of your life, it seems that greater ability to move through both the inner and macro universe and experience the planet, its life, and the energy frequency vibration in the cosmic all, this becomes more and more open to you. Well, this will become our future. It won't be made necessarily by Apple Incorporated, Alphabet Incorporated, Microsoft Corp, or even SpaceX alone. But it will be made by you. What you work with now in psionics will make the future unfold. I am working on this now myself, every day.
I hold the sphere of the earth in my hands and use my psychometric method to bring about this wondrous, glorious change in the world. And I believe it. My club members believe it. We are humanity triumphant. I invite you to join me by funding my research and development into Brain Computer Interface, BCI, for my project, Humanity Triumphant. Email me your pledge, your interest, your pledge to donate. Go to my website, verloc.com, and open the contact page to begin the conversation and getting more involved in my work. We offer a training club for psionics enthusiasts at verloc.club where you can really keep the magic high. You know, the one thing really holding people back from achieving the new world of psionics, my vision, and people serving types of technology rather than people serving technology, is this stereotype reasoning that somehow only the digerati, the tech giants, can work with this technology. But this isn't true anymore. As abundance is increased, and it will be, through automation, the cost of many things will be reduced. I wrote a short story about this automation type of world back in the early 1990s and I called it Automatum. It's a world where we don't have to work anymore. Everything's automated for us and we may pursue our gifts, our passions, knowing very comfortably that our technology is serving us. A chunk of that technology is already free in the metaverse and other tech platforms and Web 3.0 apps are virtually free to use and start learning today. My initial realization of this future manifested through yellow magic, through psionics, began for me back in the 1990s when I realized that I could sense what other online gamers and people also in news groups were thinking and sometimes what they were doing. I could sense when someone had emailed me and keep in mind this was long before we had or that handheld devices and so on were familiar to me. The internet was new. This extrasensory perception made me realize that the brain, my brain, and probably many other people in the world, is ever seeking a means by which to reach out and extend itself. This leads me to the belief that the brain is somehow intended to be upgraded. Another realization came years later. In 2015, when I was able, after much practice working with intuition and focused concentration, I was able to bring up an on-screen keyboard by looking at it. And this first began 
with one device that had a malfunction. And later I went on to test with other devices that did not have these malfunctions. I didn't have any remote control, nothing up my sleeve. No, no chip implants. Just raw mind power. So the question is, how did I do it? And moreover, how did I manage to perform this same feat more than a dozen times on three different devices, including in the presence of my wife? These are, these devices, the iPad, a PC tablet, and an Android tablet. I later learned that people in the science and research departments around the world were developing mind-to-computer applications for controlling various games on a video screen with the mind of a chimpanzee connected by a microchip to those computers. Now, some EEG headgear allows people to control robots. That's today. Today this can be done. So with the application of an EEG and software from Tan Lee, Miss Tan Lee, I will begin recording my brain waves. This is happening now. I won't be the only one pursuing a venture similar to others, but mine will be uniquely different as we are pursuing psionics. The ultimate goal will be that one day these brain waves I share will be infused with holograms. And even the recorded brain waves will be collectively transferable. It means uploadable, downloadable, and with Web 3.0 and new technologies, hopefully increasing the output, we'll be able to have these experiences very quickly. That is, one day other people will be able to experience things phenomena, to be precise, like remote viewing, remote presence, teleporting our minds anywhere we want, telepathy from the mind of another person with such talents. So we'll be able to copy some of these talents and experience them. I hypothesize, this is my theory, that many brains of different people all around the world will be able to replicate talents such as clairvoyance if the brain and the mind of the EEG wearer is exposed frequently enough to these brain waves. This will be accomplished via a means of resonance between the brain of the EEG headgear wearer and possibly the holographic construct of brain waves from an individual with potent clairvoyant or telepathic ability. At length, the EEG wearer could then take off these training wheels, so to speak, disconnect from the headgear, and allow the brain to expand very naturally through these technologies, remotely albeit. Obviously, that's already been done, as I've said. I've experienced these phenomena for myself without any technology, or rather without the brain-to-computer interface available to me. It was not available to me. So first, we have to go through the baby steps 
to get there. We're going to accomplish this with your support, my friends, and your donations to Furlock Psionics. Let us know if you are so willing to make a contribution to our research. Would you like to donate? Perhaps funds? Or perhaps equipment? The funding will go directly to Vrilok to acquire more needed materials and possibly for future hiring of contractors and associates. The information that is discovered will be gradually released to our top supporters. I am confident that you will take this journey with me. One day, we will have universal basic income, and we will be free from the labor market. We will be free from the slavery system that we've known as debt, which is the swift financial system, and this will become a thing of the past. When this happens, human beings will need to redefine what it is uh, to have meaning because many of us have attributed meaning to our employment. But new opportunities will also open up. So you might be asking, who's going to work in such a future world if Verloc pushes this and uh, Verloc team and this, the Psionics Club pushes for this big change. Who's going to do any work at all? Well, robots, of course, drones and so on, but who's going to do um, research, work, art? Well, we all will. All of us. We, we will have plenty of time to pursue our passions. And for many of us, like myself, work and research is its own reward. And so there will always be people who want to work to pursue a prosperous world and to embedder humanity. We call this humanity triumphant because it is a triumph over all the evils that have held us prisoner thus far. We're about to break those bonds and I can't do this without your support. Do consider that donation. Thank you, my friends, for joining me on Planet Verloc Psionics Podcast this fine evening. And until next time, we all have this merry gathering in the hallowed hours of the evening. I want to remind you to keep the magic high. This is our Dr. Von Verloc. Signing out. Thank you.